14 stitches in my head coming from him slamming me. I mean, I got to tell you, man, for, for a 29-year-old man, I would say that you definitely display what I call arrested development. Um, and, and it seems like you're right around 14 to 15 years old um, mentally. Um, so I, you know, it, there could be an air of truth to that, man. And if that's the case, man, I really am sorry that that happened to you. Um, well, when this video plays on YouTube, the world's going to know at that point. I want the world to know. So, I mean, if you could give any message to your dad right now, he's not here. He can't respond. What message would you give to him right now? Fuck you, Dad. Help you get what you need to sir. Okay. What's up, YouTube? Become a member of the channel. Click the join button. You're going to get access to exclusive content, more updates, post-interview reactions, and the lost tapes that never made it to YouTube. Click the join button. Become part of the family. Now, back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got my man out here today. How you doing, day man? Man, I'm doing pretty bad right now. <laughs> okay, pretty bad. All right, man. And so, um, so you're actually, man. You know, I actually interviewed you before. Um, you was out here with the young lady prior to that. Um, and so, your interview never got posted, but you did make a cameo on her interview. Okay. Yeah. All right. What's going on, fella? We're signing up for jobs. So look, fellas, she just exposed you as a big old liar, man. You said you was up there smoking a blunt? I ain't why I didn't see you were smelling up there. It must have been that guy. You was crazy. <laughs> it wasn't that guy. No, no, no. And so, how's everything been since that interview? Uh, we and her broke up. Y'all broke up? Yeah. How long? How, how, how much longer after the interview? It's been a month. That was like... Shortly after the interview. Okay. Why'd y'all break up? She, she wasn't tell, she, well, first of all, she was being very suspicious. And How so? Like, my apologies on that situation. Go ahead, go ahead. How, how was she being suspicious? Uh, she kept, Every time I asked to see the phone, she'll hide the phone. That was suspicious she'll to my, you? She'll take my phone and call someone on, her, on my phone. What do you think? She was cheating on you? Yeah. How long had y'all been together, man? Long enough. How long? A couple months. A couple months? Because that's what you said last time, man. And remember, I caught you in a lie about that. You also said that y'all came from L.A. together. He came from L.A. I met him here. Now, I know. He said that y'all came from there together. No, I came from Michigan. <laughs> he came from L.A. So you're just a big old liar, man. Because you had said that y'all came from L.A. together. She also was lying on there about it, too. Uh, what she was doing, what she was doing. Okay. All right. All right, and so I mean, so let's just start from the beginning. So, you know, you're homeless, right? Homeless, yes. How old are you? Me? Yes. Now? Yes. Now I'm 29. 29? Okay. How old were you the first time we interviewed? I was 28. Okay, did you have a birthday in between? Happy belated, man. Happy belated birthday. All right, and so, I mean, you had, I guess, just recently got out here. Um, when we first did the interview, right? Yep, we just, we just got out. We and got, so, just it's, got out of jail. And, and, and so, you say you what? Just got out of jail. You just got out of jail? Just now? You was just in jail? What was you in jail for? They tried to say that me and Homegirl was robbing a uh, liquor store. Yeah, I mean, because I walked up, I seen you was with one of our former interviewees. She's actually got a real popular video on our channel. It's almost at a half a million views. Maybe calling him? 
No. Why not? It's because... You know what? I, I know it's hard to talk about it, but I'm going to just say it anyway. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews. Out here with another one. Uh Making sure, you know, the household. Old school type. No, because of their accreditations. Back in 2008 and 2009, they lost their accreditations. And it was only grew up together. This is my best friend. Hello. And then, uh, the credentials got cut off by the company. I, I start going to counseling. It's actually right down the street to Grady. Uh, it's ten, 10 park places right down the street. I'm familiar. And the reason why I went is because I, I became depressed a couple of months ago, which is last year. Were you diagnosed with anything? I was diagnosed with depression. Were you put on any medications for it? Yes. What happened to that relationship? Uh, we split apart. We didn't see eye to eye. What specifically did you guys not see eye to eye on? It's is that I've been with this person for over three years and when my mental start declining that's when he couldn't help me anymore he couldn't help, help you what financially or help you just in, help in what me way mentally. Okay. he couldn't help me mentally anymore and um so that's Mercedes and yeah, so, and so is, go ahead tell me what happened we went in there First, first thing happened, they put us against the wall. She had to tell me to calm down because they slammed me against the wall. And so hold on, hold on real quick. So Mercedes, can you come and tell us real quick? Yeah. I ain't mean to interrupt. Give one second, no, Pop. No, Give man. one second, huh? my phone. Okay. My phone. So, so tell us what just happened. Were you in jail too? Yeah. So what happened? We was walking to Five Points. And they said that... I'm going to get back to this fella real quick. I'm mean, going through so much fucking pain. It's okay. If you have to cry it out, go ahead and cry it out. You feel me? You are strong. Go ahead and cry it out if you have to, man. You are strong. Go ahead and cry it out if you have to. Ain't nobody going to judge you. And if these motherfuckers judge you around here, I, I will slap them with my damn slipper. Okay? Go, go, go ahead. Be, be, be strong, okay? All right, all right. Be strong. You, you got this. Be strong. You got this. So, you don't have a tear, man. What? Were you really crying just now? I wiped it off. Because, like, with my main thing, like, me and going to Boston and all this shit, I try to hide my tears. And stay, cause the more the time I cry, the more weaker I get. I, I, get it, man. I never so, had a friend like that. That's always there for me. And we'll do everything. So that's just your friend? friend? So I mean, let me ask you a real question, just man to man. You want to have sex with her, right? Let's just be honest. I do like her. I did tell her that. I do like and, her. And so, and so you want to have sex with her? Everything's not about sex. Well, I know, but last time you was with I the know. other girl and y'all ducked off for a second and, we you know, you right, you said you went and uh, did a little something real quick uh, before you came back. Um, and so, I mean, have you told her that, that you want to have sex with her? No, because I'm not going to tell her that yet. You scared? No, I'm not ready to have sex with her yet. I want to just keep it like that. Like we could be kids and all that, but we don't gotta have sex off the rip. So you just want to kiss and stuff? I do. I do admit I do want to have sex with her, <laughs> but I want it to be the right way. The right way? What's the right way, man? Starting off like how we are just friends. We're pretty good friends right now. Okay. And it's gonna add up to us being boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay. And then we're going to add up the... the so, so I mean, I don't, I don't remember, man, but... So, you're from L.A., right? And so, is that where your people are at? So, why are you here in Atlanta, man? Because I like it better here in Atlanta, and my people don't give a fuck about me. They so, 
They came down here and said it to my face and then left. Who? My dad and my mom. They came down here and they said what to your face? I don't know what fuck about you. How did that happen? So tell me what happened. So they, they found out you was down here? Yep. And they came down here. And what happened? They they found you on the street? Or found were y'all in, in, in communication? At the Greyhound. So they found you at the Greyhound. And then what happened? Let me know what the fuck they... Well, they got out... They they, so they got out the car, right? And let me know how they care and if they do care. Well, they came all the way here, so they obviously care. Well, it feels like they don't. Why? Because if they did, they would have took me with them. Was there an argument or were you being disagreeable my in some dad type of way? Not want, my dad does not. Well, basically what's going on is my dad never wanted me born. So here's the deal, right? I hate to say it, but it's true. Why do you feel that? Every, because he's the one that took me away from my mom. So, okay, so let's he just... me off. So let's just start from the beginning, man. So where are you from? You're from L.A., right? All right, man, shout out L.A., man. Shout out Big Cali, the whole state, man. I'm known by down here by the name of Cali. Hey, little Cali. All right, Diamond man, Reed, it's up. Diamond Reed, Reed. Hey, man, don't look like Diamond, but okay. Shoes. I see you, I see you. All right, man, and so growing up in Cali, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? Who'd you live with? My grandparents. Grandparents? And so... Growing up, would you say you had a fairly normal childhood? No. Why not? I wanted, I wanted a dad. I wanted a dad to treat me right and be there for me. And so you feel like you missed out on that throughout through, through your life? Yeah. Okay. Um, did you go to high school? Yeah. Did you graduate? Okay. Any college after that? I graduated. I, yeah, I actually did graduate college for Extreme Tech. Okay. So you went to a tech school? Okay. All right, and so I mean, you grew up with your grandparents. Were your parents active in your life? They wasn't active? What's the shutdown for, man? I just don't like talking about it. Tell me, why? why? It causes me to have like flashbacks and seizures. Flashbacks to what? Flashbacks of everything I've been through. Well, I mean, give me an example. Being used by my father. By who? My father. He R word you? How old were you when that happened? 14. Did you ever tell anyone? Okay. I'm really sorry to hear that that happened to you, man. I mean, how many times did it happen? Just once or multiple times? How many? Five? And did, so you never told anyone this? The only person I probably will tell or let know is her. Who, Mercedes? Yeah, I'm gonna let her know. You just met her. Still, I trust her that much. She saved my life from getting hit by a car. I, I trust her with whatever I've got to say. And so, the same dad that you're saying came down here to the Greyhound station with your mom, are they still together or they're, they're not together? So they came down here together, so that, that means they both love you. Now, the other thing here is, man, you know, you know, you my guy and everything, man, but it, it was proven that you was a cold stone liar last time. And so... 
is it is it any possibility that what you're saying right now is a lie? No. So this is a hundred percent the truth. Yeah. So I mean, if your dad would have happened to come across this video on YouTube and you just accused him of something pretty horrific, what do you think his thoughts and his reactions would be? He would get mad and throw something. Because I'm releasing it. Because what? Because I'm releasing the word. He didn't want me to release it. He always would abuse me and hit me and throw me against walls. 14 stitches in my head coming from him slamming me. I mean, I got to tell you, man, for, for a 29-year-old man, I would say that you definitely display what I call arrested development. Um, and, and it seems like you're right around 14 to 15 years old uh, mentally. Um, so I, you know, it, th there could be an air of truth to that, man. And if that's the case, man, I really am sorry that that happened to you. Um, well, when this video plays on YouTube, the world's gonna know at that point. I want the world to know. So, I mean, if you could give any message to your dad right now, he's not here, he can't respond. What message would you give to him right Fuck now? You. Fuck you, dad. Hope you get what you deserve. Okay. All right, man, all right. All right, man, well, listen, we really appreciate you taking the time answering all of our questions. If anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? Okay. All right, man. Well, like I say, man, we really appreciate you. Definitely want you to have nothing but the best out here, all right? All right, man. Make sure you have a good one.